This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. NBC News investigates the new warning about certain breast implants and their link to cancer. Today, the FDA asked for a recall, what women need to know. Now to a major development in a story we first brought you last year about an emerging health risk for women. Today, the FDA asked a maker of textured breast implants to pull them off the market after more evidence that they're linked to cancer. Here is investigative and consumer correspondent Vicki Wynn with what patients need to know. Tonight, cancer survivor Raylene Halra is celebrating. I'm still almost speechless. It's absolutely going to save lives. She's had cancer twice. After a mastectomy for breast cancer, she got textured implants. Five years later, those implants caused BIA ALCL, a cancer of the immune system. I don't want anybody else to go through what I've been through. The FDA revealed today there are now 573 cases of this cancer worldwide, including 33 deaths. Most involve textured implants made by Allergan, which issued a voluntary recall and said in a statement, it's taking this action as a precaution after seeing the latest research. Patients and doctors have raised concerns for years. They actually can come point. Forming networks on social media to warn women. The textured surface is almost like a tiny Velcro. It grows into the woman's body. I believe that that's the source of the breast implant associated lymphoma because there's an interaction between the woman's body and the implant. Last November, NBC News, in conjunction with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, found the disease could be more common than previously thought, with rates as high as 1 in 1,000 in women with implants. We still have a lot of work to do because there's thousands of women still with the implant. So we need to make sure they're informed. Raylene is now cancer free. Doctors say if the cancer is caught early, it can be treated successfully. So Vicki, what should women do if they have these implants? Lester, the message from the FDA and Allergan is this. If you have these implants, you don't have to have them removed unless you're showing symptoms. That being said, watch out for rash, swelling, pain. If that's the case, call your doctor. Thank you, Wynn. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.